we talk more about, for example, uh, dynamics of the music? When we go to the harmonies of the music, I mean, okay, who even who even tried, even by playing this nocturne, just really listen to harmonies? A major or B major. It's very like um, like a pastel colors, right? Gentle, right? Okay. Now look at this chord. Who would know? Like in the very like stack of beat in this beautiful nocturne, this is such a dissonance over here. try ask my students is uh, to actually write down uh, what they see the uh, study field with like bunnies you know <laughs> the green grass the sun or it's a rainy day well this is like the first association with major minor for example right but if you go further you can actually uh, see and feel the color of every harmony I don't know about you but uh, I have my for example, A major is yellow for me. And E flat major is kind of blue, like clouds on the sky, or something like this. Um, G major, F major is red for me. But everyone has unique, as from my experience, I can say everyone has, has unique colors for every harmony. So what I'm just trying to say that if you just go through the harmony, not only you can see the whole drama of the piece from absolutely different perspective, uh, this even major next year not not only about this beautiful feeling anymore. There is a whole story that based on these harmonies that you can see, but also it also directly goes to our imagination because the same note, the same for example C. Okay, let me show you a funny thing. This C we can imagine a C major. touches with our fingertips, which is very important. And the same thing with piano. Again, piano, when it's written piano, that doesn't mean it's simply you need to play softer, like we are taught and like we teach. Again, play softer, quiet. <laughs> so, no, it's the way you actually imagine the sound. You imagine, for example, this in E flat major, Absolutely translucent, like like transparent clouds, you know, like beautiful, soft. And then you feel this energy within your body, and then you feel this energy on the tip of your finger. And then you touch the key the way you imagine it. The same with forte. Forte is huge, like you in the middle of of something like in the universe, you know. It's all around you, like you are 
uh, all your body is vibrating through the sound. So when you would imagine the same like huge sound, and then you play it, and then there is no any like tension, or stiffness, you know, when because it arises when we ask you to okay, play way louder, so they will still press 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 key harder. I don't know. The first association was playing louder, you know. Okay, this is louder. Okay, that's not louder. <laughs> you imagine louder. Again, you don't imagine harsh sound, you imagine ocean of violins. Very loud. Then it gives you the right touching. So uh, basically the uh, bottom line is all our problems comes when we simply not reading musical score correctly. When it's written piano, and we're not really make piano. When it's simple, when it's written like B major, and we really don't care. For us, it's just empty. You know, when the melody, when the melody is octave, and the melody is second, but we intonate it just like it's the same note. So, uh, not only that affects our expression, it only affects the stiffness. So, we would get stiff inside because you know. We have so much to express, we have so much feelings about music, right? That's why we actually start playing piano in the very first place. But when we don't have this key, how to open and go through the score, and when our movements are not aligned in, in the harmony with the musical piece, then this is where disharmony starts, and this is where like separation, the music is here, we're here, and there is no bridge between us and music. So. We accumulating energy. I want to express more and more and more, especially when we play something passionate. You know, like, <gasps> but the sound will be like, eh. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's why we have the stiffness inside. So imagination and singing is the way how you actually create this bridge, this beautiful rainbow between your intentions and between this grand piano <laughs> and white and black keys. And this is uh, helps us to actually. Um, Pass our imagination. Uh, we we create everything here. We use here to express our creation uh, on the piano. So this is how it goes. This circle. Yeah. All right. I actually think we have to finish. And thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't talk too much, but I'm <laughs> sure there was something interesting, at least for I think for any of you. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you.